mean, we saw it this year with Indiana and the Big Ten. Well, I guess that was more of the Big Ten, not the NC. Yeah, that was play. but that was bogus. Yeah. So so. When is the last time the NCAA has actually helped a team instead of screwed them? That's a better question. Well, I mean, te- technically they helped Ohio State. <laughs> if you if you look at it, depends which side of the fence you're looking at it from. Yeah. But, but I thought the Big the, Ten helped them. Well, it was a little uh, bit of both. Yeah, because, again, the big, the NCAA is going to be like, uh, Ohio State's probably going to the playoff here. You better think this because I guarantee you had my Wisconsin Badgers been undefeated, still had all that stuff. They'd have been like, nope, sorry. But then, oh, it's Ohio State. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. No, 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 no. We're going to we're going to change that rule because you only got five games. And so, yeah, you're good. So why? Let me ask you this question. You said the reason why NC State got kicked out was because Vandy was their, quote, blue chip school, right? The uh, team that is always in there. What if yep. NC State was playing like a uh, Texas Southern or something? You know, some some non relevant baseball school. Do you think NC State would have been kicked out? No, I really don't. I think they would have given them a shot to play with thirteen again. I so, absolutely think because when 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 I tally this up, there's a pitcher, there's a catcher, that's two. There's four infielders, that means six, and there's three outfielders, that's nine. That's less than 13 players, so they have enough players to take the field. Heck, they've even got enough to where they can have a designated hitter. So I don't see any reason why they shouldn't have been able to take the field. If you've got nine, even ten, they had 13, I think you should be eligible to play. I mean, if you bring five to a basketball court, you can play. Yeah, you actually, bring... I think you can play with four, actually, right, on the basketball court? Yep, four, four you can legally yep. play a game of four. Well, still, I mean, there you go. So I don't understand why. Well, I understand why. It's like I mentioned, it's because of the money. So, yeah, they just – no, I don't think if it was a Texas Southern school, no, I, I don't think so. I don't I, – honestly, I, I think we could even raise it higher than that. I think if it was, you know, um, you know, let's just say Kentucky. If it was Kentucky, I don't think they would have cut it off. I think it's just the fact that it was Vandy, and Vandy is the Alabama, the Ohio State – of baseball, you know they're they're the Kentucky basketball of baseball. They're that big program, so I absolutely think that money was hugely involved in it. And I think if it was a smaller school, I don't think we'd be having these issues right now. I think they absolutely would have let them play it out. Tori, do you compound those thoughts? I I do because there again, the NCAA has a penchant towards let our let let our big dogs come and eat no matter what. Because right. guess what? If those fan bases are following them. That's more money in the stands. That's more money in concessions. That's more money in the in their pocket. And like, why it made a good point about in the end, the NCAA is still a business. They're still going to yeah. try to make their money. They're going to still try to maximize that revenue. I guarantee you, if it would have been a blue chip school that that happened to, they'd have found a way to let them keep playing no matter what. 